Today the parts arrived for that little Zenith green transparent TV that blew up a bunch of times on me last week. I ordered in the two parts that I knew I needed for sure. Let's see if I got it right. For those that have a short attention span, probably most of you, this is the TV I'm talking about. Nice little green TV that would have been given to an inmate in a prison, but not all of them went down that road. I doubt that this one ever saw any prison time because these televisions are also sold as novelty items. And I wish I had picked one up when I saw them on clearance about 20 years ago. I saw some of these on clearance and I should have picked one up. The only reason I didn't is because the one I saw was kind of pink and I didn't really want a pink TV. But uh, anyway, that's the set. I'm going to give you guys a refresher as to what happened in case you missed all the excitement in the last one. But I, I do highly advise you to go back and look at the other one if you want to see some entertainment. But let's let's refresh your memory as to what happened last week. here 122 volts so the voltage looks to be normal will the set turn on I don't hear any high voltage coming on though so obviously something blew up what blew up this time now the parts have arrived what arrived in the mail was the regulator controller that module and I got a new 150 volt Zener diode that protects everything in case something does go catastrophic so that we don't have caps exploding left, right, and center. I've already changed the four caps and I've also got a new horizontal output transistor because that is also in bad shape. So that needs to be changed. So we're going to put the parts in and uh, fingers crossed, I'm not letting the cat out of the bag. Because I know whether it's fixed or not. Obviously, I'm not letting the cat out of the bag as to whether this fixed it or not. But we're going to change the parts. And we're going to watch it together and see whether we have another cloud of smoke. I know some of you are hoping for that. Let's find out. So I'm just changing the old part using some MG Chemicals Super Wick. People ask me what type of wick it is. It's MG Chemicals Super Wick, made in Japan. It's good stuff. I know others have said, dip it into liquid flux to help it. You don't need to with this stuff. This is, this is the best. It'll clean that board up. Take up all that solder <clears throat> very quickly. So this part is an original part made by Daewoo, which is the company that made this TV. And it was available locally through my local parts supplier that I always give a plug for, KP Components. They're located in Surrey, BC. It's a mail order place. kpcomponents.co is their website. And that's where I try to get my parts from when possible. He does stock a fair number of parts. That's where the blue gears, for example, for the Sony VHS machines come from. So I always try to throw my business to one of the local suppliers that I've been dealing with now for well, about 30 years, I guess, because I dealt with them back when I ran the service department at the local shop, which is long gone now, but uh, when I was there, I had essentially, besides dealing with Panasonic and Sony and Toshiba for original parts, 
and um, main electronics, which are, they're gone. And uh, red electronics, they're gone. Uh, KP Components was uh, one of the other companies that I dealt with to order parts from. And he's one of the few that's still around. He works from home, so he can't go to his house to buy stuff. He used to be able to go to his place to actually pick parts up. But that ended a couple of years ago, just before the whole pandemic thing blew up. But um, um, I called him one time and he, he said, well, I, I can't have you come into the house anymore. Probably had something to do with the local bylaw people anyway. It's mail order only. He's pretty reasonable at shipping parts. So I order him in and I get him within a week. Shipping is really reasonable anywhere in Canada too. Okay, 129 volts, there we go, 132 volts is there. I'm gonna power it up, you know, have my hand by the by the power plug just in case the voltage rises too high, but power's on. All right, voltage is staying right where it's supposed to. We'll let it discharge. I haven't put the, I haven't put the protection diode in yet. I'm gonna do that now, and then we'll replace the horizontal output, which is also popped on this one at this point. So let me just let this capacitor drain down. We'll put the Zener diode in, as I've got that here somewhere too. There's the 150 volt Zener, 150 volt 5 watt Zener diode. This is our crowbar. We'll replace that, replace the horizontal output, and uh, hopefully this one will power up, and this one will be put to bed. But it's not jumping up in voltage as it was with the old module. So this was the culprit was here. And I, I get a kick out of people suggesting that we try to repair this part. When the part is readily available, and it is readily available, right? This is the original part. That's where it's available from. KP components. So, parts readily available. You're not going to try to fix that. So last night we had quite the uh, the windstorm blow through here, and um, it uh, dropped the tree on the actor uh, Jackson Davies house, or actually across the driveway. Took out his power, so I saw him posting last night looking for an electrician to restring his uh, or redo his power. I guess it ripped the uh, well. I drove by his place today. It ripped out the uh, the mast. It kind of a little freak storm blow through here last night, knocking down trees. I saw my lights flicker a few times, and that would have been, I guess, when when his power went out. And it knocked down a a tree onto his uh, hydro service. He lives like a block away from me. Okay. Let's see if the set fires up. I hear high voltage. 
So we're gonna get a picture. Ox. Ha 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 ha. Yes, we got a picture. Let's put it into. Uh, it's in. It's in. This is Spanish. Let's get it into English. Source. We'll just put it on tuner. Uh, we're over here. Cable TV. Okay. Now I gotta go through, and I'll just do an auto program. This will just program in. It's gotta go through them all, I guess. This will uh, program in my house cable. But yeah, uh, obviously we got a picture on the TV. It's working. So we'll just let it go through the auto program, and uh, I'll plug a color bar generator or something into the front here, and we'll see how it works. But the guy that owns this one's gonna be stoked because his TV is now gonna be working. Might not like the bill because I put a bunch of parts in it, but it's working. There it goes. That's got a damn good picture. That channel doesn't have sound on it. My, my cable converter, my ATSC converter has gone to mute after a power surge. i got to fix it. Security cameras. Somebody walking up the street. The time. Got the time, anyone? I have the time on channel 17. Canyon Dreams is playing. Can't let that play. My cable box is obviously off. I can uh, turn that on by pressing a button on my secondary remote control here. And that should turn on. You can help. Donate today at Together. Just the focus on the back here. Together. See whether I can get the picture any better. I don't think the focus is off. Oh, it's preset. So it won't be it won't have changed. That looks good. Looks good. I'm not letting hotel soap near my run commercials. Whoops. Can do spirit. So does GoDaddy. Need a sweet website template for your wedding planning business? Say I do. Or add your vintage buys to your online store. Looking good. They can do and start for free with GoDaddy today. This is an Oreo. I know what I'll put on this thing. Hello. This is what you want a CRT TV for. Playing video games. Because nothing, and I mean nothing, gives you that experience of playing these old retro games unless you do it on a real monitor. Oops. Uh oh, I'm dead. Nope, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Come and get me, you bastards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got me. You get the idea. I forget how to do this. How do I play other games? Ah, that's how you do it. Got this game for ten bucks. I think I did okay.
I would say it works. This little dame unit I've got here. It was a... I picked this up for 10 bucks. I had to fix it. I think it was a bad connection in this. There's, it's got a little receiver on it. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera. If I put the camera in night shot mode, you'll see it. But there's... Oh, you can see them glowing there. But there's... Um, I'll put it in here. Night shot. It uses LEDs to control. So it blasts out infrared to the controller. To control the game. Anyway, I'm gonna put this set back together. And there it is all back together. Turning out color bars from my old Sony broadcast camera. It's about all this thing's good for now is putting out color bars. But uh, it looks to be dead on. White, yellow, cyan, green, magenta, red, blue. Doesn't look any better than that. That's looking great. There's a final look at it. Isn't that a thing of beauty? I'd love to have a set like this. I mean, this is in really good shape considering the age, but I would love to have one of these transparent sets in my collection just because I think they're cool. A see-through TV with a Philips tube in it. But yeah, this, this, these are great little little sets. I mean, this looks so cool. Just the green cabinet or even a clear cabinet. I don't care. I'd love to have one that was, that was, uh, that was transparent like this. That's just for the cool factor. Anyway, uh, this one's all done. Color bars on it from my broadcast camera, my old broadcast camera, old Sony high band Satacon. And yeah, the tube on this is pretty bad. If I put it into camera mode, you'll see how bad it really is. Uh, camera mode. Can I show a picture. We'll show a picture. Not a very good picture. Um, it's got a burn in on the tube. That's the actual target is shot on the Vidcon, or uh, not a Vidcon. In this case, it's a Satacon, high band Satacon. Oh, and the lens has got lens is kind of foobard too. I think the lens is probably foobard more than anything. Anyway, <laughs> its camera has seen much better days than this. Uh, back focus is probably out of adjustment on it too. But uh, anyway, these things required a lot of light, a lot of light to work. Anyway, this one's done. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.